All right, guys, hello and welcome to today's lesson. This is Mr. Ludden, and today we're going to have a quick look at simplifying thirds. Your thirds come up uh, in questions involving indices and also uh, in questions which are quadratic formula. I've done videos on both of those things, and I'm going to put the link of those uh, in the description so that you can look back and uh, see where thirds come up. Um, I've written out three questions here. So uh, root 12, root 50, and root 32 and what we're going to do is we're going to simplify each one of those i'm going to take my time on the first one and just explain to you what's going on with it and then uh, for my root 50 and my root 32 we'll go through those just a small bit quicker over on my right hand side here um, i have a list of my perfect squares so uh, my numbers that can be made by multiplying uh, one natural number by itself so my one here was made by one times one 4 is 2 times 2, 9 is 3 times 3, 4 times 4, 5 times 5, 6 times 6, 7 times 7, and so on. Uh, I've also taken out one of my uh, laws of indices from my log tables on page 21, and we're going to be coming to that in a minute or two. So over on the right-hand side here, this is just things that I need um, in order to answer my three questions over here. Okay, root 12. The first thing we're going to do with root 12 is we're going to keep our square root, um, and we're going to try and break up the 12 into two numbers being multiplied by each other but our only catch is that our first number here has to be uh, the biggest perfect square that we can find so my list of perfect squares is going to come in handy now so if i think of my perfect squares the one here uh, will always divide into the number that you have underneath your square root so for these sort of questions we sort of ignore the one because it's not going to gonna, it's not going to help us simplify our question so if we work our way down our perfect squares we see that 4 will go into 12 9 won't 16 won't 25 won't 36 won't and as we go down there the numbers just keep getting bigger and bigger so they're not going to go into 12 so I'm gonna pick 4 4 is the biggest perfect square that goes into 12 and you'll see why I need that in just a minute so I'm going to say 4 and I'm going to ask myself well 4 times what will give me 12 and of course the answer is 3 so we've said that the root of 12 is the same thing as the root of 4 times 3. Now, if you remember back to your laws of indices, the square root of something is the same thing as saying this thing, so 4 times 3 to the power of a half. And also, if we were to apply another law of indices, so this one down here that I'm just after writing out, if we were to apply this law to what I have here, what you would end up with is 4 to the power of a half times 3 to the power of a half. So the half here, the power, is sort of distributed over the 4 and the 3. Now, 4 to the power of a half is the same thing as the square root of 4. We all know that the square root of 4 is 2. And let me just... That's the same thing as 4. I'll just write exactly what I'm doing. Times the square root of 3. We all know that the square root of 4 is 2, and root 3 is just root 3. So, if you were to put root 12 into your calculator, your calculator will go straight down to this step, but uh, my 1, 2, 3, 4, my 5 lines here show you how I did that. Now, you don't need to show all your workings in an exam, and for root 50 and root 32, I'm just going to show you as quickly as possible um, how you would simplify that. Root 50. Again, square root, we want to break that up into two numbers so that one of those numbers is a perfect square. Uh, 4 doesn't go into 50, 9 doesn't go into 50, 16 doesn't go into 50, finally 25 goes into 50. Is 25 the biggest perfect square? Well let's see, 36 doesn't, 49 doesn't, and after that you're above 50 so you can't get a number that goes in evenly into 50. So 25 is our number. So 25 multiplied by 2 will give me my original 50. And if I break that up, I'm going to have root 25 times root 2. Root 25, as we found out, or as we know even, is 5. So 5 root 2 is the same as root 50. And again, if you put root 50 into your calculator, you will go straight down to here. For root 32, um, we start by looking at uh, what's the biggest perfect square that goes into root 32. Um, 4 goes into 32, 
but we need to see if we fi can we find a bigger perfect square. 9 won't go in, 16 will go in, so 16 is now the biggest number that we're going to 32. 25 won't go in, 36 won't go in, and now you're just uh, you're in your bigger numbers that do not go into 32 evenly. So just be careful, the main thing here with 32, 4 will go into 32, but it's not the biggest perfect square that goes in. So my 32, I'm going to split that up into 16 times 2. And uh, that's going to split up into root 16 by root 2 because of what we've done previously. And we all know that root 16 is 4. And our root 2 is that. So again, if you put root 32 into your calculator, you will get down to 4 root 2. Um, and that's usually asked at the end of questions. Well, you might need to apply that just to tidy up a question, but it could be asked on its own as well. So just something to be aware of. I'll put my key points in the description and uh, the, also the links to my other videos. And if there's anything I've forgotten, um, it'll be in the description too. Thanks for watching.